Hey guys, Dave Jensen here. I'm in the capital, Washington, D.C. I want to test out the capital bike share system. I get to borrow one of these bikes for the day for only $7. As long as I don't keep it for more than 30 minutes at a time, there should be no additional cost. At least I hope not. I'm going to have to be watching my stopwatch carefully, and I'm going to test these bikes in ways they've never been tested before. So if you want to watch, join me for the ride. Here we go. Capital Bike Share. W I'm just cruising down Constitution Boulevard. Got real well-marked bike lanes just making this extremely safe and enjoyable. I've hesitated to rent one of these bikes in the past, thinking it'd be awkward and clumsy, but it's uh, actually quite nimble. It's got a great three-speed system. Brakes are very responsive, very comfortable. As you can see here, I'm coming up on the Capitol building. Don't have to worry about parking, paying a parking meter. So really a pretty slick deal here. Not sure what happened, but I definitely ended up somewhere I was not supposed to be. It was at one of those convergences of interstate on and off ramps. Just pure craziness. So I'm looking back at the map. I'm somewhere by the stadium here. I need to get across this river. So I'm jump on Minnesota Avenue. Take it down to Fort DuPont Park, where supposedly they have a little single track. And that's been my uh, ultimate goal here today, is to test the uh, Capital Rideshare bike on the single track. So. Hopefully we'll be there soon.